Got my favourite shirt on today, my All Blacks rugby jersey. Right, in this video we're going to make a, a simple lampshade like this with some nice strong corrugations. I was trying to figure out an easy way of doing this and I think I've come up with one. So let's do it. First job sketch, horizontal plane, construction, circle tool, make that 150. Click off construction, spline tool, and I'll zoom in. It's just a bit of a guesswork on this first stage. Finish. Zoom in a bit more. Pan down. Click cancel. Now I can manipulate it. Bring that one in. I want these reasonably symmetrical, don't have to be perfect. That will do. Create circular pattern. Select the object. Select the center point, I'll scroll out. Now I've got three of them. I'm going to change that to say 33. I'm going to zoom in so I can see what's going on. 36. 36 looks quite good. Okay. Now it's not perfect, but if you zoom in, I can click on that and just drag it back until it snaps. That's closed. Finish sketch. Go home. And I've pretty much got quite a good series of corrugations. Well, they're all symmetrical. Now I'm going to go with the press pull. I'm going to go up 100 and 180. Enter. Click on the home. Now all I have to do is shell it out. Shell. With these corrugations, just start with one. I haven't got a very grunty computer. If you get it wrong, well in this computer it, uh, it crashes basically. So that's alright, so I'll go two. Three is good. I've done ones where I've had the corrugations really quite close together and it wouldn't do three. Okay. Now I'm just going to put the hole for the light fitting. For this bayonet fitting, uh, B22, and that's 29 millimeters. So I'm going to rotate this around. And I'm going to create a sketch off the bottom here. Circle tool, 29. Finish the sketch. Press pull. Press it in as long as it's more than three. And it's on cut. OK. Go home. That is finished. That is really quite cool. And it was super, super, super easy. Thanks for watching.